Na, Fury, wie wär's mit einem kleinen Ausritt? Hast du Lust? Still standing? Not for long. Come on, hurry. <laughs> Nothing but a grizzly bear could have caused that damage. Breakfast already scrambled. Couldn't have been a grizzly bear or any other wild animal. No sign of any of the chickens being hurt. We know you didn't do it, Fury. <laughs> Take a month of Sundays to clean up the mess that young whippersnapper made. You ought to learn some manners. What are you gonna do, Pete? Spank him? <laughs> <laughs> well, he's a mite big to lay across my lap. He's your son. Can't you keep him in hand? Ah, <laughs> oh, that's all right, Fury. You're not the first parent that needed help when his son started kicking up his heels. Hunter doesn't mean any harm. He's just feeling his oats. Yeah, and eating them, too. But you know, this colt's grown up faster than we realized. Taking a look around, I'd say it was time he learned some manners. Now, if he don't learn some soon, he's going to turn into one of them juvenile delinquents. <laughs> well, you can't blame the youngsters for the grown-ups neglecting their education, Pete. Well, I think first thing in the morning, we'll concentrate on making him a useful citizen. seen a father so anxious to keep his kid out of trouble. <laughs> like fury. <laughs> Horse or human kids are all the same. You know, they reach that know-it-all age when they think they're too smart to listen to their parents. <laughs> I know what you mean. I was the same way when I was a kid. But when I grew a little older, I was awful surprised to learn how much horse sense my pa had picked up in just a few short years. <laughs> <laughs> Joey, you know, a smart youngster like Thunder could learn to open that corral gate. You better put him in the barn. Okay, Jim. <laughs>
Hurry! Now, what do you suppose he wants? Fury wouldn't wake me up unless something was wrong. Well, let's go see. Ain't the son is the father. A man can't get no rest around this place. Jim, Thunder can't be too far away. We ought to be able to catch him in no time. Man, a dark night like this, a shadow would be easier to find. Yeah, Pete's right, Joey. Well, it's only a couple hours till daylight. We'll pick him up in the morning. I guess you're right. I don't understand that horse. What does he think he's going to find out there? Yeah, the young colts don't think, Joey. Just take a notion to do something exciting, and they go ahead and do it. You don't think he's going to get hurt running loose like that? The only ones that are going to be hurt by this are us, losing our beauty sleep. Thunder will probably be back in his stall in the morning, fresh as a daisy, and raring to pull some more of his pranks. That's what's been raiding our stock. A black stallion. The way he's standing on his ground, I could rope him easy. This calls for a gun, not a rope. He's been hurt pretty bad. We'll call Doc Adams as soon as I take care of that stallion. Drat all night running horses, drat! Hey, what's going on? Newton, my base stallion was almost killed tonight. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, Mr. Hanson. Is that any reason to come busting in here in the middle of the night? A black stallion attacked my horse and we chased him here. Well, it wasn't Fury. He's been in his corral all night. He ain't the only black stallion on this ranch. Oh, wait a minute. Who says you can go charging into my barn with that gun in your hand? Thunder's the one that broke up my horse. Yeah, another horse savage just the night before last. Kicked to ribbons, just like the bay. Well, Thunder wouldn't do anything like that. Either one of you see Thunder attack those horses? They didn't catch him in the act, if that's what you mean, but that black stallion was standing over the bay when we spotted him. Well, all young colts have a streak of curiosity. And you know what has to be done. Now, wait a minute. That horse may get into some mischief, cause a little trouble, but he's not vicious. Don't tell me about horses. I've seen them go wild before, and this is the only cure. Thunder was born and raised on this ranch. He's spirited, sure, but he's not wild. Now, I, I can't go along with you on just seeing him out on the range. Besides, Mr. Hanson, this is the first time Thunder's been out at night. He couldn't have hurt your other horse. Let me tell you something, son. His father's a wild horse. 
and the wild streak in him is showing a mile and a half wide. And if you don't do something about it real quick, you're going to have a killer on your hands. I can't say I blame you for getting excited, Hanson, but come morning you'll realize that Thunder is nothing but a frisky youngster. I don't want to commit violence any more than you do, Pete, but I'm not going to stand by and see my prize horses slaughtered. Jim, you either keep them off my ranch or I'm going to shoot them on sight. Saddle in. Okay. Yes, sir. Oh, good boy. Oh, boy. Take it easy. This saddle won't hurt you. like the looks of this. <laughs> Don't you worry, Fury. This is a lot easier on your son than old-fashioned bronco busting. <laughs> he doesn't look very happy. But no horse does the first time he tightened the finch on him. Well, he's taking it a lot better than his old man did. You almost hit the sky the first time we put a saddle on you, Fury. <laughs> <laughs> All right, little man. <laughs> Son of yours is a chip off the old block, Fury. Learning his lessons fast. Geese, don't you go teaching him any more of your tricks like opening the gate. Say, Jim, how long is he gonna have to have that saddle on like that? Well, a couple hours at a time is plenty. We don't want to sour him. And if you two don't want to sour me, you'll start getting cleaned up for supper. I don't aim to spend all night in the kitchen. Don't bother sending a place for me. What's the matter with you? You on one of them newfangled diets or something? No, I'm going to the Lamberts for supper. I promised Packy I'd help him with his homework. Oh, well, don't get home too late. I won't. Well, looks like the Newtons are teaching all the young'uns around here. They're all running loose. How'd it happen? I, I locked the corral myself. There's your answer. Saddle up. I'm gonna get that black devil. What about our own horses? Where you'll find him, you'll find them. This is one time I'm gonna put a bullet between the eyes of that vicious young stallion.
first thunder. Guess we'll be just been asking ourselves. Yeah, he's out there someplace. I reckon them lessons we've been giving him ain't sunk in deep enough. Gosh, I sure hope he didn't go to Mr. Hansen's place. Yeah, no telling where he went. Well, let's get some sleep. We'll go looking for him when the sun comes up. But you know what Mr. Hansen said. Yeah, I know what Mr. Hansen said. If he does anything to that cold, he'll have to answer to me. We ain't seen nothing but jackrabbits all day. That black stallion must have driven our horses underground. We'd better split up. We can cover more ground that way. I'm going to head into canyon country. Craig, you circle east. Ed, you go west. how big this country is until you're looking for someone. Yeah, especially when that someone is a horse that doesn't want to be found. Maybe Hanson was right when he said Thunder had a wild streak in him. Else why would he leave the comfort of the broken wheel? Well, like most youngsters, he has to find out that the grass isn't always greener on the other side, Pete. Jim, maybe if I gave Fury his head, he could find Thunder. Well, go ahead, he couldn't do any worse than we have so far. Get going, Fury. Well, Pete, if you were a spirited young horse, where would you head for? If I knowed, I wouldn't be out here raising a crop of saddle sores. It'll make mincemeat out. Hold it, Pete. If you miss, you might hit thunder. Now, oh, Mr. Hanson. Well, I reckon we just have to watch thunder take his thrashing. No, he won't. Go help thunder, Fury. Thank <laughs> you. 
Look at that colt taking credit for what his dad just did. As far as I'm concerned, he deserves all the credit. That white renegade would have killed me if Thunder hadn't gotten between us. Jim, if you ever consider selling that horse, I can promise him a good home. I appreciate your offer, Mr. Hanson. But I wouldn't sell Thunder. He's a member of my family. <laughs> Well, like most youngsters, Thunder's finding out his dad can still handle him. <laughs> yes, sir. Fury's still the boss. Ah, you're right, Fury. If he hasn't learned by now, he never will. like he grew up with a saddle on him. Ah, oh, don't blame you, Fury. You can be mighty proud of your son. He's graduating with honors, huh? <laughs> <laughs> 